Hi everybody, this is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Again, I owe uh, some gratitude to the Twitter account at Real Peer Review for alerting me to this uh, latest postmodernist article that I will read for you in a moment. It is published in the Journal of Cultural Studies. It is Hot Off the Presses, 2016, Issue 5, titled of the article is a position embedded in identity subalternity in neoliberal globalization. Here we go, the abstract. Gayatri Spivak asserts that subalternity is a position without identity and has no examples. This paper demonstrates that identities imposed and subscribed to contingent yet naturalized <laughs> have to be taken into account particularly when we consider that such identities are inscribed into a war of positions it is argued that the notion of quote subaltern in gramsci followed <laughs> followed through in the idea of quote subjugated knowledges in foucault read commonly as marginality, intervenes in established social relations to expose that capitalized time is asynonymous with capitalized history. Subalternity, emblematized through positions which are held by identities, plays a crucial role in negotiating the discontinuity between capitalized time and capitalized history. The paper, quote, relocates subalternity by redefining it as a process. In order to convey this, I use, quote, subaltern subalternized instead of, quote, subaltern. Identity, then, is also necessarily a process captured temporarily in the course of political cultural engagement. The essay reads the positions of r racialized and gendered, of course it does, subalternized sub knowledges in the context of neoliberal globalization in North America and South Asia through the process of identity makings of two groups. <laughs> the Minnesota Indian Women's Resource Cent Center in Minneapolis, USA, and the feminist Dalit organization, Lalitpur, Nepal. Bravo, bravo. Some of the latest hot off the presses research and thinking from postmodernism. Some people mapped human genome, others uncovered the deep mysteries of number theory, others try to uh, understand the neuronal firings of the human brain, and others engage in the random gibberish utterances of the naturally lobotomized. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Cheers.